not gonna get it started that way. Well, I'm just getting ready. You know, I'm about 32% done with my restoration. Hello, Transformers, Autobots, and Decepticons. My voice is gonna be a little raspy here, but I'm gonna try and not do too much commentary for you guys. Long story short is early this morning, we recently got an update from the official Play TFR account, and they are saying that incoming transmission from Teletram 1. We know that everyone has been patiently waiting for updates on Transformers Reactivate. However, we won't be revealing any new content this year. Let's pause for a second. So that also means that we will not be seeing any brand new information, no new trailers, no gameplay, no anything for the rest of 2023. So that means at the Game Awards, we should not be expecting Transformers React. Here we are. Hey! You ever have a song stuck in your head? It's like the worst song ever, but you can't help but whistle it or sing it. It's like repeat itself, repeat itself, repeat itself, repeat itself, repeat itself, repeat itself. Kick and counter, 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 kick and counter. What the f? I know you're freaking out. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. There are a lot of content creators, myself included, that have stated that we're super excited for the Game Awards. We don't know if it's going to be there, but we're anticipating that this is their last big chance for something to happen, and that's true that there is no other chance for them to be able to reveal something big at the Game Awards. I really think this is a personally, uh, from my standpoint of view, this is a very big missed opportunity because for the entire year, we haven't received anything. Now, before you go saying development hell, like my video that I posted a while back, I wanna just state off the bat that it seems like they are not in development hell because they've started to really amp up their development they've got more more positions filled and various sort of things for them to be able to move forward so please do not say that they are in development hell i really don't think they are anymore because we got that information a while back and now that has since gone and passed over the last few months i think they've really amped up their development sort of thing but here's the other thing to take into account before i continue saying what's on the post is that Flash damage is under a very heavy, heavy NDA, a very airtight NDA. That means they can't talk with any of us. And while they are probably so very extremely eager to be talking with each and every one of us from content creators to various people that are super fans like myself that really want to come and see this game come to fruition from splash damage, they are under an extremely, and I mean extremely tight NDA. And one person out of the content creators that are covering this game, uh, his name is Hypnotic, really pointed out to me lately, and I had a great time, by the way, with him uh, on live stream and stuff like that alongside him, playing Transformers games, the older Transformers games on the multiplayer and that sort of thing. He pointed out to me over his experience that these kind of NDAs, we should really be pointing over to Hasbro in this sort of situation. Now, a lot of people say they, they will go to blame Splash Damage, that why aren't you guys talking? Why aren't you guys saying anything? That sort of thing. Well, really, the reality is, is that while Splash Damage would love to talk with each and every one of us, they can't due to that NDA. It is so airtight. It is so very constructed so very well that they can't say a thing, not even hint, towards Transformers Reactivate. That's how bad that NDA is for Splash Damage. And otherwise, I mean, it could be just be that Splash Damage is being super professional about it and just not saying a thing, which could be very reasonable and a professional way about going about it. But that is one of the things we should really be looking to Hasbro and not, that, we do love Hasbro because they do bring us great things at times, but at the same time, Hasbro is also very strict on how things work. And even Hypnotic uh, showed to me that, yes, there are things like way back with the older games, with High Moon Studios, for example, with how certain characters are written in the High Moon Studios games, that sort of thing. So guys, just keep that in mind when you are saying or blaming anyone about why hasn't there been any new information or updates? We really should be looking at Hasbro because they want to make sure that everything is absolutely perfect to a T that gets thrown towards them. So when Splash Damage finishes something, they throw it towards them, and then they get the approval from, from Hasbro before Hasbro gives them the green light to be able to say, yes, you can throw this out there, that sort of thing. So basically, they are the higher ups over Splash Damage, and they have the green light to say, yes or no, this cannot be shown. So if there was a trailer that was supposed to be shown at the Game Awards and got pulled because Hasbro said, it's too soon, not yet, that sort of thing, definitely blame Hasbro for that. But 
even though I have had sources talk to me and say that there was definitely something in the works for sure, there's definitely a trailer that was probably in the works and may not have fully gotten to the Game Awards. Who knows? I, I don't really know. I don't know the full de details in and out. I just relay the information to you guys. So long story short, guys, is that let's continue this. Your passion and enthousia enthusiasm powers of our, our, our mission to create the Transformers games the Transformers game fans have been waiting for and we have now shifted to development the game in Unreal Engine 5. Now this is kind of more or less an update in a sense for those who do not know about the game too too much and while they, this is like going way back to I think it was May that they actually announced at I think it was Gamescom I can't fully remember but it was some kind of event Unreal event or something where they announced that Yes, we're working on Transformers Reactivate and it's in Unreal Engine 5. So just keep that in mind. Like when, when I show you guys gameplay, just keep this in mind guys that Transformers Reactivate is in Unreal Engine 5 and that is something that you guys have to keep in mind that this game is gonna be so much more updated. There's so many more lighting effects and things that they want to be able to do before they actually show it off to the fans. And that is something that's very important. now. Who knows, I'll probably try and see if I can get an email update or something. I'll try and reach out to Splash Damage and see if there's any new information that they can talk about to us. And maybe we can uh, get an exclusive. If I don't have it in this video, I'll try and do it in another video later on. But until then guys, thank you so much for watching. Like they said, stay tuned for exciting reveals and epic developments in 2024. So this might go in line with one of my previous videos that I did take down i didn't really get permission to re really use the information so that's why i took down some of those videos uh i originally said that it's possible that there could be stuff going on in 2024 so my information from my previous videos could be very much correct about things going on in 2024 and maybe as late as 2025 let's hope it's not 2025 but i think that's like a deadline end and all date kind of thing so just keep that in mind guys is that we will be seeing Transformers reactivate sometime in 2024. We don't know officially when, but we'll try and find out that information as time goes on. I know this was a longer video, but I just wanted to share my thoughts, share my opinion on what's going on, and share with each and every one of you guys as we go forward. Until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was a good update for each and every one of you. It may be a sad update, but it's also hopeful that they actually updated us right before the Game Awards so that we don't get our, our hopes up too much and we go into 2024 with a level head knowing we will see something in 2024. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you, each and every one of you, on the battlefield. RoboGamer1HD, over and out.